Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam and this is a Crafty Blinders Van Life. Today we are heading down to Van Man Tribe 3.0 down in the Cotswolds. And just look at them blue skies. It's been raining up here for the last couple of weeks and I'm leaving Cumbria to go down to the Cotswolds where I know it's absolutely lashing it down. Along the way we're going to meet up with a few people and the first one being Stu at Poplar Services. I've just stopped at Fortin's for a couple of minutes there just to uh, just to talk wheels. We've had every wheel off this last uh, last weekend, so this is the first opportunity I've had to talk them back up. So that done, I'm happy to crack on. Let's get on with this. I just spoke to Stu. He's going to meet me at Nutsford Services, so we're about an hour away, so we've cr cracked on and get that done. Good. Hey, Stu. <laughs> Right, we're off. Um, Tesco's Cheltenham, next stop. So let's get, uh, get some miles under our asses. Well, that's a stocked up at Tesco, so time to head up to, I think we're staying at a prison. Good awesome. And we're here. Tonight's park up for the night is a prison. It's an old prison, but it's still a prison. Here we're meeting John, Nick and Andy. But it'll do. Well, had a good night catching up with everybody. Yeah, we've had a good night catching up, and uh, the rain's here. So that's it for tonight. We'll uh, hit the sack and uh, catch up with just tomorrow. See you later. So Phil joined us about quarter past midnight last night. And we're waiting at the minute for the cafe to open so we can go and have some breakfast. I love that. The old prison welcomes you. I bet it's welcomed a lot of people that didn't want to be here. Breakfast in the prison calf. So I think we're going for some healthy porridge. <laughs> No wonder there's so many people in prison. If this is a food that you get, yeah. I'll go. This way to the cells. And this is the old courthouse. Let's have a little look in the cell. Nice door. <laughs> Somebody could. <laughs> the bed's a bit hard. That's a wrong in there. Definitely an in pla interesting place to have breakfast. Um, the food was really good. Better than any prison food I would have expected anyway. But, yeah, great little park up. Um, there's no restrictions. And we're right near a village called North Lake. So that's just behind me over there. Yeah. I'm going to look at the prison. You'll have to back, put some in here and some up there. So these guys have journeyed across from Nottingham this morning. Some of them met up last night at Dave's house and stayed over. The rest of them have all congregated en route. <laughs> 
Now, if my sums are right, that's 15 of us here. We're just waiting for one more. That's Darren. He's currently in the MOT station. Well, luckily for Darren, he passed. So it's time for us to start making tracks. The event is only two miles down the road. Right, we've just met Joe, we've got our wristband, and now we've got to just loop round here, double back on ourselves, and then turn into the site and get our photos taken. I think that's a little bit tighter than I expected. I'm going to have to put a little shunt in. Well, that's a pretty impressive convoy. We're still coming in. So we're here. We are at Van Man Tribe 3.0. Been looking forward to this for such a long time. There's a big group of us. There's about, well, I'd say 15 of us just pulled in there together. So yeah, should be a good weekend. Um, a lot of people met for the first time and a lot of people that we know from over the years but this looks to be a brilliant little venue, absolutely brilliant. I'm impressed with it so far. Bit of musical vans, obviously. Uh, not happy with his pitch first time, so having to turn around. A weird little story here, right? This morning, early on, I was strolling through, swiping through uh, Instagram, and that guy there's face popped up. Video all about trying brownies that everybody's banging on about from Lidl. Two hours later, pulls into the car park. <laughs> what are the chances of that? What are the chances? Anyway, I'm going for a mooch about. Have a try. We all, we all know Lee. Lee's had a few troubles in his times, and you know, today's, today's no exception either. Would you like to show us around your new vehicle? <laughs> this, this is Lee's pride and joy for the weekend. Yeah, for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a tour? Yeah, dude, Should on. we do a van tour? Oh, uh, wait, there's one up on your van already. Locks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we've got to get this because this is Lee packing. You can tell Kerry's not here. Hey, uh, did you get that? Look. <laughs> oh, go on, go on. Look at that. Come, come into my humble abode. The door, the door doesn't hold back. Um, yeah, the fridge yeah. exploded. The bike's got a bed? Yeah, the bike's got its own bed. It has to. <laughs> I borrowed the bike and the motorhome off my dad. Um, and I can't afford to replace the bike. So you, uh, you do know motorhomes come with cupboards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the cupboards are occupied by all my dad's stuff, so I've got nowhere for my stuff. I thought you were into curling then. It's a no. fucking kettle. It looks like a curling <laughs> still, doesn't it? I thought you said Carlin. I was like, no. <laughs> Carlin, don't swear at me. Be a flavoured. So is, this, is this the end of the tour? Yeah, well, is that it? Oh, I've got a, what, do want, what do you want to see? I've got a oh. bathroom. Yep, standard yeah. issue. Yeah. Standard issue. Yeah. Oh, oh, you've got a bed up there. Oh, yeah, that's my, I've got a bed up there. But, again, that's where I sleep, but that's where my dad keeps his crap. <laughs> so, at night time, I have to take all my dad's camping chairs and stuff out of it to be able to get into bed. He's just very inconsiderate, isn't he? Oh, it's just... I think you need to have a word with him. Oh, here you go. This is, this is my... Um, Shadow Bridge Brewery gift pack holding cupboard. These are yours, Sam, so I'll take them, Cheers, out. Brother. Take them back to your van. That'll give you some space for your beer. Yeah, I've, I've got another crate already in there. <laughs> I'm living off pot noodles, 
and Stella this week. And we've got another, we've got a crate of Stella on the floor, and we've got a crate of Stella in oh, this cupboard. That's too bad, is it? And, and flip flops. So. That's all, that's all you need. Yeah. The yeah. showers, we can just de, de louse in them yeah. over the road. Oh, there are showers here, is there? Yeah, it's straight, well, it looks like it's straight across the road there. Yeah, but, uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is Lee's dad's van. Um, obviously, it's not got the creature comforts of Apollo, but uh, it'll do, won't it's, it? It's better than Apollo because uh, the turbo's gone. <laughs> so it it's got me here. <laughs> it's turned up. Yeah, it got me here. Uh, oh, shit, the bike's just bit me. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Right, I'm getting out before I hurt myself. Right, that's me out. I'm out, I'm out. The weather has not disappointed. It is cracking the flags. A little bit breezy, but we can li definitely live with that. Uh, I've never even John's here. Where, is there something wrong with your hand? My hand? Yeah, it hasn't got any beer in it. No, I, I can't fucking open the beer. Why? Because I just fucking pulled out the car park, put, got to put my bungee around the fridge. So they jacked out of the car park, everyone's gone everywhere. So I, had, I had second, second turnout with Dave's house. Almost, I put on my Don't buy a Montpellier. Don't buy a Montpellier. The floor and it a few times. Don't buy a motorhome, apparently the fridge is spewing them, so... <laughs> Yours is a mess, mind, isn't it? I think I need some mud mats. Not just, for getting you out of the mud, just to look Just to look yeah, good, eh? Mine have been used, I yeah. do. Yeah. They work, they? I, I'd, I'd, I'd get them, I noticed yours were mucky and I thought, has yeah. he just rubbed them in the dirt? No, no, right, no, I, I, actually, <laughs> mine was in mud about that deep, but he wasn't just mud, he was like sludge. And me being me, I'm like, oh, it's probably a driver, I'll go through that, and he just went, we're done. Where are we at? Port Axel. <laughs> Some weird campsite in the, like the Kendall area. Uh. There was no one on it really, and just the tracking was just like that, it was like soup. Well, I had to get dragged out when I made the uh, discovery. <laughs> what was your excuse? <laughs> what was your excuse for <laughs> drinking <laughs> pop? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't wash, does it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if someone goes past then, you have a real good laugh when you get out. <laughs> <laughs> they said, come and do van life. Van life's a brilliant thing. He's all enjoying van life, lads. Enjoying it? I'm loving it. Cheers. Bit moist. Moist? Moist. Moist. Can't say that word. Yeah. Right. Thanks to everybody that bought me a pint last night. Um, don't do it tonight. <laughs> it was a good night, but uh, I'm not feeling it today. These are from Far Peak, and the pedal assist, and they're quite fun to be honest. Just been blasting around in it. I'm down 88% already. Yeah, bounce back up. Mind you, that. All right. Back up. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've been riding it round in the highest gear, so when I've been trying to set off, I've uh, I've been killing myself. I've just realised that <laughs> it had gears on it, so I've managed to change it down into the lowest gear. It's a lot easier to ride now, but uh, yeah, they look good. They really do look good. So we're apparently we're going on a bike ride today. Um, some of us got the memo, some of us didn't. <laughs> so we'll see how. How it all pans out. I think it's going to be a bit of a laugh. Time to merch the bike. Let's try harder. There you go. <laughs> We're off on a bike ride. Everybody excited? <laughs> to the nearest pub. <laughs> it's a pub crawl, a bike ride. <laughs> See you later. Off we go. 
a little bit different to home, the countryside in here. A lot more rolling, rolling hills and big sticky up ones. All right, we're, we're a mile in and we we're, we're we're stopped for a fag break. And <laughs> <laughs> the essentials. So, 30 mile an hour nearly, over that little flat thing. But, uh, and, and the bike here. Yeah. <laughs> On this, down there. Ah, you've, got, you've got to use the hills to your advantage, haven't you? You've got to... yeah. Try saying that on the way back up. <laughs> you see that E type of pull down? Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? We have found a classic car dealers. As we were driving along, a little E type pulled out. Absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. But look at this. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Love it. Absolutely love it. No oh, Bentley. Riley. There goes some. Riley. Talbot. No BM. It's amazing. Some nice old BM bikes as well. Lovely, aren't they? Oh, oh you know, don't worry, don't worry. No, you're all right, thank you. We've got two, I think oh, one of them's in there, I'm not sure, and they are original coat. Okay. Cool. That old thing, GT, Austin. Yeah. Austin Agro. Yeah. Just had a lovely chat with the owner there, and these, it isn't a museum by such, it's, they are classic car different. And they ship all over the world. So if, you, if you've got a spare bit of cash that you'd like to shell out, get rid of, you couldn't could go a lot wrong, more wrong by buying something or buying one of these. Because I tell you what, they're only going to go up in, pro in, in money. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love the DBs. It's beautiful. <laughs> There's a thing about classic cars and um, old high performance cars. They are they have a smell of their own, it's unique. I just wish you could bottle it and put it down the telly as well. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. I've loved this. Nice little surprise, didn't expect to do this. I expected to see the inside of a few pubs, but not an old classic car showroom like this. Love it. Even the shop's amazing. Just look at all this. Everything's for sale. Beautiful, isn't it? Broken. Broken. <laughs> Broken. Have you noticed it's the ones without batteries on the bikes that are the most broken? <laughs> well, we've got two critters there in the background. See them just, just naffing off. There we go. Broken. Broken soldiers. This bike ride is a bike ride that just keeps on giving. We've just found this. Have a look at this. Look at them. See? Stu was amazed. Look at him. That's an amazed Baffle. face, huh? Look at Dave. Dave's face is amazed. We've found this. <laughs> that is a look of amazement, isn't it? Amazement. Amazing. Amazement. Beautiful. Right, lads. That's enough culture. Get yourself up that hill and into the pub. I think this pub only serves half pints. Alan's definitely no half pint though. This is one of them pubs where you could just sit there all afternoon. Initially we only went for a quick drink, but 
as more and more food was brought out, we had to get some ourselves. A couple of pints, a bit of food, and we're heading back. Well, <laughs> these bags do come into their own when you hit the hills. <laughs> so we've, uh, me and Stu's actually made it to the top first, but. Oh. <laughs> I'm knackered. I'm not, we're not knackered, but I'm out of breath. So we'll just wait for the rest of the lads to catch up. There's a massive rain cloud coming, so we're trying to get back as quick as possible. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here? <laughs> Far peak. We're back. <sighs> well, that last bit of the ride <laughs> was absolutely knackering. Most of it was uphill, but we found a little technique where we could push each other. Well, the guys on the electric bikes could push. The guys were out, so yeah, lots of fun. Been a blast. Really enjoyed today. Really enjoyed the weekend. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> that was a dismount and a half. I thought you were going to fall off that wall into that field. They were the camel back it making a bit of Well, that was the unofficial bike ride. Now, if you went on the official bike ride, let me know in the comments how ours compared to yours. Ours, we've done about 10, 11 miles. Um, lots of fun, good crack, as you can see from the video. But there's uh, quite a few events put on while we've been here this weekend. Um, today's the big day. So there was the official bike ride that went at 11 o'clock. We took off about half 11. Um, they'd already gone. There's a uh, axe throwing this afternoon. Um, we missed that because we've been out on the bikes. Um, taster sessions. What else is there? Oh yeah, there's a fitness um, a fitness workshop. There's also an overland workshop uh, by Pete. Now Pete spends most of his weekends trying to get stuck. Takes that van, puts it in places where it shouldn't be, and then tries to get it back out. Have a look at his, uh, go and check out his stuff. Um, follow that link there. Um, he was a font of knowledge and he pulled a massive crowd at this event. Everybody there wanted to hear what Pete had to say. There was also there was something else to get. All this is in amongst um, all the sponsors. So Sean's here from Mule. Hi, right, Sean. Good lad. I went and collected some brackets off Sean because um, I'm going to do some some headlamps, some uh, spot lamps on the front of a van. And he gifted us a set of uh, brackets, and they are really good quality. But there'll be more about that in the video. So, yeah, um, we've got sponsors here. Tonight there is a Britpop band, and then there's Adam from en Enley Firth uh, YouTube channel. He's doing a disco tonight. Um, yeah, Tom Dibbs last night. That was good as well. Just there's so much on. There's so much to do. But tonight I think we're heading to uh, watch the boxing in the middle of the field. <laughs> Somebody's going to set up a screen in the middle of the field. That's a crack anyway. Let's see if it comes to fruition. But it's a brilliant event, and it's it's set up for blokes that love van, love beer, and love the crack. And this weekend, that's all I've experienced. There's been no animosity, no arguing. Somebody left a trailer sick, a significant trailer sick through the site, but that's the only downside to this weekend. That's the only thing that's been a negative. So whoever you are, clean up after yourself next time. <laughs>
down. It's been a, a cool night. Um, really enjoyed this weekend. Um, as you can probably hear in my voice, I've had uh, quite a lot of fun. <laughs> but it's been brilliant just to stand around the fire with the boys, having a good crack, having a good catch up, and uh, having a few beers. Really, really enjoyed the bike ride. Um, I've just enjoyed this whole fest, this whole gathering. It's uh, it's one for the books, boys. One for the books. Well, that's the end of another weekend. Um, it's been pretty good. It's, it's been absolutely brilliant, to be honest. Um, just all the lads sat in a field, having a brilliant laugh. The bike ride was phenomenal. Um, just, a, just a, it was just a load of fun. Finding the classic cars was amazing. The campfire was amazing. The the uh, old smokery bar, the staff in there were brilliant. The event's been really chilled out, really laid back. Really enjoyed it. So we'll be back. If there's another one, we will be back. It's, uh, it's been a good weekend. So that's me. I'm off. Six hour drive uh, back home and. It's been a good weekend, really enjoyed myself. I'm tired, because when I get in the van, I really do sleep. I sleep better than I do at home, so I look knackered, because I am knackered. I've had, I'm not knackered, I'm, I'm what's the word? Re relaxed, refreshed, you know, I've, I feel really good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Why not head over and check out our new website? www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group The Crafty Blinder Van Builds Thanks for watching